can you tell us a little bit why did you decide to take your FE exam? Oh yeah, everybody now. One of the reasons I did decide to take the FE exam is because I wanted to actually reach reach to get my PE. I mean, my 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 goal was to or is to get my PE and move forward with my um, career and stuff like that. So when then once I started working for where I work at, they actually required the FE exam. So that was one of the other reasons I had to <laughs> I had to actually take it. <laughs> I wanted to pass um, the, the job that I had coming out of college. It was an R&D job, research and development job. So it, the emphasis on um, passing your FE wasn't, you know, it wasn't necessary. So that's kind of why I didn't take it as, you know, kind of serious. But as I feel kind of stagnant at that job and I wanted to, um, I didn't want to stop myself, to put myself in this box and just be in uh, R&D, you know, my entire career. So I wanted to put myself in a position to uh, be able to apply for other jobs and kind of broaden my uh, expertise area in civil engineering. And so, and I also didn't want not having my license to stop me from getting promotions at jobs as well as in leadership roles. So that's why I just really wanted to uh, get my FE. And also, more importantly, to get my PE like. Uh, just career opportunities um just more career opportunities something um something that I knew I needed starting off like you know as a civil engineer I feel like it's important to you know pass the FE exam and then you know get your PE um so yeah just you know to further my career and you have know, better career opportunities for me that was pretty much it that I had an idea of myself that if I didn't pass and I'm not a real engineer that was mainly it it was it was mainly uh, a struggle with my personal self saying, because I don't have an EIT, I'm not a real engineer. And if I'm not a real engineer, then I, I'm basically a poser at my own work. And I wouldn't really give myself credit or validate myself of saying like, no, like if you've made it, you're, and, and that's the crazy part. I've, I've been working in land development engineering firms since I graduated um, college, like the, that same year I graduated. I got myself into working in an engineering firm and I've been doing that ever since like 2016. And there, and that can't be the same story for other, other students that I know, other classmates that I know. Some of them have graduated with engineering degrees and they haven't worked in an engineering firm yet because they don't have the EIT. But for me, I didn't care about that. I put myself in the door and, I, and I've been involved in it. But even then, it was a lack of confidence saying like, oh, I'm not a real engineer. Yeah, I made it here in an engineering firm, but I'm not an EIT. I'm not a PE. I don't have these credentials. So I can't be taken seriously here. Like I, I know that my, my work is always going to be second guess. My work is always going to be always looked at and double checked. Um, I'm still working in the engineering industry and I found that I really did enjoy it. Um, once I found kind of my field that I wanted to be in, I found out that I just loved it and that's what I wanted to do. And I also found being younger and new to the industry that I had to prove I had some knowledge in engineering. And of course, I mean, even if you do have an education in engineering, it's always good to take the FE. So, um, but that was my main reason. I was like, I got to prove that I understand engineering and I know it. So um, that's why I decided to study for the FE and get my EIT just as like, a way to show everyone while looking for new jobs that, hey, I knew what I'm doing. Oh, it was um, back in my sophomore year in college. Um, I had a fluid mechanics professor. She's now, I believe, the, the dean of um, our engineering department. Which she um she seen it like how my my my, my like how persistent pers persistent I was in taking fluid mechanics. She seen like my worth ethic, like how I was able to approach the problems and. She liked how how I, how I handled the class, and she came up to me saying, "Um, um, I like how I like how you how you're working as a, a young engineer. Have you ever considered working um taking the, the FE exam?" And at that time, it was completely new to me because I wasn't even, I didn't know that 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 exam ex existed. So I, she said, "You should look into it because I really believe you have a good chance of becoming a good engineer." So from it was from there I started like you know doing my like a little information. 
So I graduated in 2007 and usually when you pursue a degree in engineering, you pursue your license. And um, when I graduated, I ended up uh, at a position with state government and not many people had their PE license. Um, it was one of those, I hadn't passed the FE yet. I had taken it in college. Um, but like I said, shortly after graduating, working in an environment where a PE wasn't required for progression, and time went on. Um, it bothered me that I never did pass the FE. And as time continued, really just kind of that, that urge within me was something that I needed to do for myself. And then on top of that, I really started to look more outwardly into what it is that I wanted to do with my career. And I've taken a turn in my career in addition to passing the FE and pursuing the PE. Okay, so uh, I graduated in Brazil. I'm from Brazil. And when I came to United States, I came just to uh, do an exchange, a cultural ex exchange. Uh, when I got married in 2020, I decided that uh, I, wanted, I wanted to go back to my career. I didn't want to lose all the years of studying. And that's because I'm, I'm also passionate for civil engineering. So I decided to take that fee because when I started for, to, for looking for jobs, um, I noticed that most of the jobs, uh, they were requiring for the ELT certification. And when I searched it up, what was that? I couldn't find that I, I have to pass in this FE exam. Um, so I put it in my challenge list that I had to take this FE exam to Prove to myself and for the others that it doesn't matter where you are graduated, you have the chance to be an engineer, whatever you want, you know, where else you want. So um, that was my main goal. Like I need to prove to myself that I am engineer in the United States. So how can I prove that to the others and was taking the FE exam. So that was my, the first step that I could uh, do for myself to prove that I was engineer. Uh, and it doesn't matter if I, you graduate in another country, you know, if you pass the F exam, you are proven to the others that you know what you're doing, you know the numbers, you are a civil engineer or whatever engineer you choose. So that's why I took that fee. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody now.